Hi friends, it's me Stace. For today's video, I thought I would share with you how I organize or store my menus as well as my recipes as well as menu planning or meal planning. So we do our food shopping every two weeks. So I do base my menus on a two week time period. On Sundays though, every Sunday we have a roast. So I only do shopping for 12 days. So how, what I have here is a little three by five index card organizer. And I also bought the tabs here. Every tab is a category of food. So we have beef, poultry, pork, fish, pasta, casserole, crock pot, desserts, cookies, cakes and pies, salad, sides, soups, sauces, breads, and miscellaneous. Inside each category, so I'll go to the poultry category, inside each one is the name of the recipe. So you can see here, this is chicken pot pie. On the back, I write down the ingredients. Now, not, I'm not too particular with the ingredients as far as salt and pepper, sugar, flour, because these are things I have on hand all the time. I just write down all the ingredients without those being added. So now when I want to do my food shopping or my menu planning, I just shuffle through here. I pick out the ones I want and I can easily see on the back the ingredients that I need. Then once I have the ones I want, I put them in the front of my box here. So you'll see these are the recipes that we're having this week. And I have a blank card named a roast just so as a visual I can say, okay, that Sunday it's taken care of. I have sides in here like macaroni and cheese. Um, you know, crock pot chicken, grilled pork chops, things like that. So once I have the, the menus I wanna make for the two weeks, then I go on the back, I see the ingredients very easily. I check my pantry to see if we have them. If I don't have them, they go on my grocery list, okay? That's how I store the menus or the ideas. Now, as far as the recipes, I have these plastic um, organizers that I bought off Amazon. I actually use them for my cardstock. They actually work really well. I will have them linked below. But I had so many left over that they're, they're perfect for this as well. So every category I have here, I have the same category here. So this is the beef category. These are sides, um, pasta, pork chops, crock pot, casseroles, sides, things like that. So it's easier for me to do my food shopping and my my food list with this versus shuffling through all this, trying to pull the recipe out, writing down all the ingredients. It's easier to have it this way. So now the other thing I do is I have a calendar. And I have a calendar for every month of the year. So this is obviously January. And these are the recipes or the dinners we've had so far this week. I don't look into breakfast or lunch or sides. I kind of figure out the side the day I'm having that dinner. Like I know for meatloaf, we're going to be having mashed potatoes and gravy and probably mixed vegetables. So I'm not going to write that down here. I just write down the main dinner, okay? And I don't write these on here until we actually have that dinner because, you know, if I had everything filled out and planned, things might change. How you might bring home dinner. I may not want chicken that day. I might want to have a pork chop that day. If it's a crock pot dinner, I want to account for that. If it's a grilled on the on the grill, I want to make sure it's nice outside. So I only write the recipes the them down once we actually have that dinner. Okay. On the very back of this, um, just a little piece of paper, just as a reminder of the of the deals of the meals I'm going to have that week. So again, I can see here these are all the chicken ones, or these are all the crock pot ones. This is a pasta. These are pork chops, and these are beef recipes. That's how I do that. Now, as far as the actual recipe, when I'm making that recipe that day, I have another plastic divider or them little folders, and I just keep the individual recipe in here so I'm able to see all the ingredients in the front, on the back are all the instructions to, as far as how to make the recipe. You'll see on some of these, because I left the paper out, they got all gooped up by sauces you know, spilling on them or something else spilling on them. So I'll have to rewrite this one. But hopefully, by keeping them in this little sleeve, I can, I'm able to see the front and the back very easily to keep the, the recipe clean if I have smudgy fingers or whatever it may be. So that is it, my friends. That's how I menu plan. I do find this method with the title and the recipes on the, or the ingredients on the back. It's very, very easy to go to my pantry just with a few cards versus all of my recipes together to see what I have, to see what I have on hand, to see what I need to add to my list. And again, I do my shopping on a two-week um, two week time frame. So again, I, I shot from Monday through Saturday because every Sunday is a roast. So hopefully that helps some of you guys. Leave me comments on how you guys recipe plan or menu plan or do you even menu plan or, you, or do you just wing it? I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. As always, my friends, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.